I want to show you something. Do you know this guy? No, you're wrong. That's Brother Judge when he was much younger. <laughs> no, that's Taylor Hicks, the new American idol. Do you all know him? Say amen. <laughs> you must have seen him on TV. When he won the American Idol, I was watching because I was a strong fan of Taylor Hicks. I wanted him to win so much. But then he made this sta statement after he won. He said, finally, I am living the American dream. That's a statement he made. And for him, he had arrived at a place in his life where all his dreams and desires would be finally fulfilled. Uh, he would, uh, when, he wa when he was interviewed uh, on Jay Leno, uh, he even made a statement that he has more girls who, who run after him and who are so in love with him right now. Uh, and it seems that Taylor Hicks is in that place in his life where he is simply receiving, he is the center, he, is, he feels like he is the center of the universe. When we look at Taylor Hicks, sometimes there are many people who might, who might want what Taylor Hicks has. To be in that place where we could have all the things that we want, all the pleasures that we want, we have reached those places, those, that place of, of, of having all that we desired and dreamed about, being able to go to the shop and purchase whatever you want, and uh, being able to have whatever you want in life. But is that what life is all about? Is that what brings true happiness, true peace and meaning in life? Is that why you and I were created? Would that truly be, bring meaning? Would that truly make you happy? Would that truly make you fulfilled in life? What is the real meaning for life? What is the real meaning for your life? What is the real purpose of our lives? Have you ever asked that question? There are many times, you know, uh, there was somebody who said to me recently, he said, it is, it, is, it, is, uh, it is such a sad thing to see a poor man in wean a rich man. Do you get what I mean? It's such a sad thing to see a poor man who envies a rich man and what all he has. Because the poor man thinks that all his happiness, he would find happiness, he would find meaning in life if he had everything that the rich man has. But when he gets to where the rich man is, he finds that still happiness and true joy and true meaning still seems to evade him. Because after the honeymoon is over, when, when Taylor Hicks has in, enjoyed the moment of happiness and all of those things with his success, there comes a time when all of that joy fades, all of that happiness fades away and you start to understand, uh, you start to ask the question again, is there anything more than this? Is there anything more than this? It's not lasting. The title of my message today is a new reason to live. Turn with me in your Bible to Matthew chapter 6, 19 to 24. Matthew chapter, nine, chap, chap, chapter 6, verses 19 to 24. Jesus' words, and Jesus says, What does Jesus say? He says, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole, bo your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other. 
or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other, you cannot serve both God and money. Father, we pray that you enlighten our hearts and minds and give us understanding of your word this evening. Father, we pray for the power of your Holy Spirit to be upon us all, O God. Lord, we pray that you remove obstacles out of the way, O God. That by the power of your word and your spirit that you will transform us, change us, and take us from glory to glory with you, O God. So we commit our lives into your hands now. And Lord, as we acknowledge your presence, we pray that you will work your mighty power in our midst. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. A new reason to live. A new reason to live. Why do we exist as a Christian? What is this new reason that God gives us? The original reason for why we were created. The original reason for you, for why you were created. Why do you exist? Why do you live and why do you wake up each day and go to work? For what do you exist? Here Jesus tells us, gives us a new perspective of what life should be all about. And he says to us, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth. And so he talks about treasures in these verses 1, verses uh, uh, 19. Look at verses 19. Verses, yeah, it's verses 19 to 21. He talks about stored treasures on earth or in heaven. So here he's talking about treasures. What are these treasures? Are they on earth or in heaven? Jesus is giving us a new perspective of life here. Is our life earth bound or heaven bound? Is our life temporal or eternal? Why do we exist? Where is our heart? He says where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where is your Security. This is the big question. You see, every one of us in common has something that we want and we work for is security. Would you say amen to that? Do you want to be secure? And Jesus is addressing that problem here. He says, don't store up for yourselves Treasures on earth where rust and all of these things destroy it, it fades away, it rusts and it's temporal. Sometimes we may feel or we, we may buy into the deception that earthly wealth can secure us. That our security would be assured if we had more money, if we was rich, if we had a, a big house and the, the latest car, our life would be secure. And Jesus is basically addressing security here. Or we live, often we live and we get entangled into this living to be secure. To secure a life for ourselves. To secure a future for ourselves. Are you living to secure a life for yourself? Is that your reason to live? Is that our reason to live? Is that the reason why God called you? Is that you live to secure a life for yourself? To secure a future for yourself? Is that the reason why we live? What does Jesus say? He says, store up rather treasures for yourself in heaven... He says, 